Hi squad and in this video I want to tell you about CDK3 and CDK5. So we hear a lot about CDK4, 6, 2 and 1 because they are important in major cell cycle checkpoints. CDK4, 6 work in the G1 checkpoint, CDK2 work in G1 S checkpoint and also in the S checkpoint. CDK1 work in the M checkpoint. And now there's also another phase. Most cells in the body stay in the G0 phase and don't divide. But sometimes these senescent cells can start dividing again and go back to the G1 phase. There is a checkpoint here, and this checkpoint is regulated by CDK3. And CDK3, just like any other cell cycle dependent kinase, is going to polymerize with cycling. And then the cycling that binds with CDK3 is cycling C. One, two, three, A, B, C. And when CDK3 and cycling here and here bind together, then they can work just like any other cell cycle dependent kinase, add phosphate to many proteins. And these proteins are going to make sure this process is working fine. And if something's not working fine, then these proteins can stop the cell from going from G0 to G1. Now we have CDK1, 2, 3, 4, 6. Last one is CDK5. CDK5 has not much to do with cell cycle checkpoints, but it's an important gene for neural development. And this covers CDK1 through CDK6.